Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, my end and my friend Ben A here uh, with you guys uh, here going live to answer some questions. How's it going, man? It's been like six months, right? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been since uh, no, I think I think we got together in in uh, February when Sharon played. Yeah, but that was so, like yeah, that's I mean about yeah. when Kobe hit, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been um, a little bit of time um everything is good how are you doing good man you know like uh lucas is growing studio is growing yeah and uh yeah a lot of stuff going on here youtube like uh now we're doing like live sessions you know right on wednesdays because why not <laughs> you know you're locked in right yep absolutely that's cool and i'm you know thanks for having me down and i know this is kind of like a we're just going through and testing the waters trial and tuning and yeah fine-tuning everything but um it seems like you're You've had a lot of content that you've been putting out. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. And how about you, man? What about like your releases? Uh, everything's been going pretty good, um, considering uh, the situations that that you know have occurred uh, for everybody. But um, yeah, a lot of good, a lot of good um, new releases coming out. I have uh, I've been working with some good artists. I, I have a, two releases coming out with Eddie Amador. And he's a Grammy nominee artist, and he's how is how's Eddie doing? This he's, whole COVID thing. Uh, he's doing good. He's actually staying really, really busy, and he started a new label called New Soul. Okay. And I just did it. I just finished a remix for his new label. Um, it should be coming out, I think, at the end of September. And the track is called "When I First Met," uh, "When I First Felt House," and okay. right now it's a number one uh, acapella on Track Source. Okay. So uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, really exciting to have that coming out. Eddie's uh, been nothing but uh, professional to work with all the time. I have uh, two releases coming out with Eddie. One already came out earlier this year on Witty Tunes mm -hmm. out of Washington, D.C. and Amsterdam. And then the other one is coming out on No Preset uh, Records out of Chile. Yeah. At the end of I believe, September 21st. Yeah, remember, remember when we first got signed to uh, No Preset? Yeah. That was last year, right? No, it was two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Holy from, crap. From Carlos. Yeah, right? Yeah. And I remember that. It yeah. was uh, Josela remixed one of the tracks, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Vedic remixed one of the tracks and uh, and Vedic and, and, and JCO. Yeah. So they remixed one of the tracks. And then uh, that was my first EP. And that came out on Winnie Tunes. And that would, believe it or not, the remix was there. That remix is still like in my top 10 on Beatport, but it was, it was like my top number one selling uh, track. <laughs> and it was a remix for a while. I know. And, and which is great, which is good because it was, it was a really great remix. Of course, uh, Vedic and JCO knocked it out of the park as usual. Yeah. Uh, we should have them here one day. <laughs> yeah. We should get them down. Uh, we should get down. I mean, I was thinking about it this week and I was like, we need to get hippie down here. You know, we need to get some of the, some of the, um, some of the legends. <laughs> yeah. I, I would say probably, I mean, like for sure, hippie's got to come down here because he's here all the time. So we need to have a session with him because I, I would love to hear what he has going on with H foundation yeah. and, and, uh, you know, some of the things, some of the live streams that he's been, you know, a part of have been huge. Yeah. So. That's great. Yeah, it's uh, I, I've been talking to him for a little bit, and uh, he was telling me like how COVID completely changed, you know, like mm -hmm. what he had planned yeah. <laughs> for his music career. It's absolutely insane. How's that impacted you? Uh, I don't, you know, this is that's been a pretty big question. I don't think it's really impacted me anyway, because I've always like, I've worked, you know, I work a day job. Um, I do development during the day and then I work on music at night and I miss a lot of activities because I always have remix projects I need to do or, or stuff I need to do for the label. So I'm always kind of already been in quarantine. Yeah. So to me, it's not really quarantine. It's just, it's, it's, Ooh, this way it's, you. it's pretty normal. People can see your, your mug. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so it's been, it's been, um, it's kind of been more of a normal environment for me. Um, the only thing that's changed is that I, I really don't go anywhere uh, except for the grocery store. And then I've been running a lot and riding my bike a lot. So staying busy with, 
um, just trying to get out of the studio, but I'm in the studio all the time. So to me, like quarantine is not a big deal. Yeah. I, I do think it's important though, for the people that have um, to change their lives, you know, this is a good time to reflect and do some, I guess, you know, in reflection and, and kind of like going back to your roots and figuring out what you enjoy doing and finding out some passion for art or music or finishing some projects you know <laughs> with with music uh a lot of artists have been finishing projects left and right and you know of course i go through and i do um, some mix downs and i do some mastering for individual clients and i mean not a lot but but it's been very 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 steady and i I can't complain because you know these these guys are putting a lot of time into their music and they want it to sound good and i want it to sound good i want my clients to be happy with the mastering that i do for them um so it's it's been i don't know to me and nothing's really changed except for the fact that we're not in going to venues yeah well remember like the week prior like COVID just hit the fan. We were all supposed to go to like uh, Miami Music Week. Ah, uh, yeah. A winter yeah. conference. You had you had gigs lined up. <sighs> yeah. Like free passes and like all this other stuff. And then I was supposed to meet my family there. Right. And then you know that week we were like, yeah, it's not happening. That's right. Crazy. So that was the I think that was the reality check for all of us. Mm-hmm. And uh, that to me kind of hurt because. Mm-hmm. I was, yeah, I was doing opening ceremonies with Vedic and for Winter Music Conference, we were opening, we were playing with Junior Vas, uh, Junior Sanchez. Yeah. And we were playing, I think Tommy Shun- Sunshine was also on the on the bill. So we were doing opening ceremonies for Winter Music Conference first day. And, you know, we got the heads up from Winter Music Conference that they, they were being canceled and that, you know, this is, this is really, really happening. And uh, the state of Florida issued uh, an emergency um that kind of that kind of hurt but i had you know i had two gig three gigs in in miami and then i also had um another gig lined up in san francisco at the end up that was canceled and then i had another gig that was lined up uh you know um we didn't really determine a date that we were going to go down to playa del carmen and play me and Vedic and <laughs> and that didn't happen. So the I guess the good thing out of it is that the airlines refunded us all of our money. <laughs> I know. Well <laughs> Hello Zara. Uh thank you for the hands up. <laughs> oh nice. Sarah tuned in. Yeah. Cool. Hi Sarah. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, it's uh I still have my tickets there somewhere. I mean we haven't gotten the refunded because we were planning on still going. <laughs> right. But right. like right now it's like you don't even know. yeah how that's gonna play out um a lot of the you know a lot of the clubs that had issued um refunds i think to everybody i mean winter music conference was taken care of but some of these other festivals uh they're kind of they've kind of slacked and and not issued refunds as quickly as as the people want to go to obviously to to see the artists perform yeah which i think is which i think is, is is not a good move but um, I mean, there's a lot of different moving pieces. So, I mean, we're just sitting here on the side, kind of watching it all go by and and waving our hands and having our opinions. But at the end of the day, you know, you just want people to be treated the right way. Yeah. You know, what's crazy, though, is like right now, like if you look at, you know, what's happening in Ibiza and all this stuff, mm-hmm. it seems like everybody's like back, you know, to like getting gigs and all this other stuff. What do you think about that and what's going on here? I don't, um, I don't really know if, I don't really know the extent of how, how big these venues are and how many people are going to be allowed. Uh, I think that a lot of people want to get on with, with their lives and they want to get on with, you know, the music and they want to get on with the productions that are going on. I, I don't really know if it's the right time or the right place. I mean, I think a lot of people are just going to or a lot of countries and a lot of different uh, venues are going to be experimenting with it. And we're going to probably see the results like it or not. And I, I hope, I mean, I hope that it all turns out for the best. I mean, hopefully until there's like really some sort of it's like vaccine, or vaccine or, or we can come up with a cure. I mean, I think we're going to be in this 
this boat for a while. Yeah. Uh, David, David, say hi. What's up, David? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, David. If you have any questions, uh, definitely go ahead and, and and fill in on the feed. We're, we're just kind of going through this trial and error, and I'm here to answer questions. Um, definitely, I want to help out uh, anybody that has any questions or, or give some insight if I can. So.